Hey, what's up, y'all? Anthony here, and I got two special guests. I got my man Mikey Rock, got Chuck English. Hey, the cool kids. Thank you uh, so much for coming yeah, in, man. Thank you, Appreciate man. Thank y'all. You. Definitely. I mean, how did y'all actually, you know, hook up? This story uh, starts on on the space, MySpace, like uh, about two years ago. I was just uh, searching through like uh, my top friends list and stuff. I came across his page and I just started listening to the joints he had on there. It was just beats. Um, I was like, these are ill as hell, man. And then I was kind of thinking like it was like nothing that I've really heard before, uh, especially coming out of like a younger guy, kind of around the same age as me and stuff. I was like, should hit him up and see what's up. So I hit, I hit him up and I asked him, uh, I asked him how much the beats costed, and I forgot what number he said. I think it was like two hundred or something like that. <laughs> so he probably thought he was, uh, he was a man. I'm about to stick it to this dude, man. <laughs> two hundred bucks. Yeah. And then, um. Long I'm story short, really we met up. Beats though, I figured yeah. I figured two hundred dollars wouldn't yeah. hurt. This year has been a good year from y'all. I mean, you almost came up from I feel like obscurity to I mean, you guys are a big hit. I remember I was playing live. I was playing live two thousand eight. Mm, I oh, heard yeah. eighty eight on there. I was like, who cool kids? I know you guys were on Entourage and and you know you're just getting a lot. I recently in Rolling Stone, getting a lot of a lot of love, man. So I mean, you guys don't even have an album. Yet. It's just singles, man. So I mean. <laughs> We had a plan and we just stuck to it and it was kind of like everybody else does the traditional way of getting their music out where they let the kind of like let the label push you to the people and then the people have to decide from there and then it doesn't always work so instead of your face getting pushed down and people having to listen to your music we just leaked everything we did and if they liked it they liked it and if they didn't then <clears throat> they didn't there was no like you can't say that we're some market marketing gimmick because the reason why the Rolling Stones and all the other people were paying attention is because the kids were listening to it yeah. and they thought it was dope so other people started listening it's really cool that you know we're in the position that we're in but to me and him these were like goals that we set you know sometimes you just gotta shoot way higher than what you think you can get and we kind of did that and it wasn't like we just stuck to it we didn't like do we didn't break our backs we just always tried to make a song doper than the last song and continue to like make sure that we made ourselves seen so they knew who we were Chicago is just what is it about that city man that just puts out so many great artists I mean y'all being there man I don't know man I, I I'm not originally from there okay. and you know the city for a while even when Kanye came out the first time was known for hating yeah, and the same art, artists coming out doing the same stuff but there's there's I think I mean I always give them the credit but out of the scene that we're in it was the Floster Diamonds right, they nice. threw a party which catered to a clusterfuck of people like you had I've never seen that before like right, the first yeah, time I went before. to that I was my mind was blown like to go to a party and then and, and, the first time I went there, there was like punk rock kids and little hip hipster kids, and there was like black hipster kids, which I never seen before. This was like three years ago, like back in '05. And then you hear them play like a rock song, and then play uh, they played that ludicrous "Girls Gone Wild" joint right into it, and I was just like, oh shit! So it spawned this kind of open mindedness. Yeah, you could kind of tell that like. People had been waiting for something like that to emerge, man. Cause like, it seems like it's a lot of just like-minded people who are kind of like on their shit musically and stuff, man. It's it's just good music at the parties, dude. It's, and that's what it's about. Yeah, it's, it's just about good, music. good ass. Well, music, you start man. to learn that that's the crowd that you want to have, and I think that that was a good look for us to know that to cater to an audience like that which is everyone that you're not catering to a certain audience you're catering to everyone and if everybody's dancing into that shit then you start to be like oh, okay and it starts to take an influence on you